what we've noticed so far is we see um, kind of the networks of influence in the studio. And that's really cool, you know, because this is so different, I think, than um, a lot of other professionalized art, art spaces or artist studios, you know, it's, you know, you have the, and I think historically, like, there's the trope of the solitary genius alone in their studio, cranking away. And we all know that that's a lie, you know, typically they have friends that they're talking to or drinking with or, you know, in and out of each other's studios and everybody's kind of feeding each other ideas. And then here, like a collective studio, a progressive studio where everybody is kind of nearby one another, um, you kind of see somebody going, oh, well, this person's using this material, but I've never used this material, this seems interesting. And then everybody in the studio kind of shifts to using you know, either a new material has come in, so it's interesting because it's a novelty, or somebody's using it to interesting ends that they like, and then they adopt it and take it down their own path. All of this is really, you know, this, this is just typical for artists. Um, and I think seeing those lines and relationships is really wonderful. You know, I think Ronnie really has rubbed off on a lot of the artists, even the artists who did not meet her, because the amount of her work that's present in the studio, I can't help but believe artists have internalized that. Also, as the first artist to be archived, and this work, I think, is, like, super special, super critical in a way, but also, like, you know, playful, thoughtful, Definitely very conceptually oriented. I mean, there is like the undercurrent of, I think, like womanhood, femininity, fashion, and then really rigorous formal categories in how she's like building the drawing or the collage around mm -hmm. each of the figures is, is really intriguing.